Unraveling Idioms, The Art of Blowing One's Own Horn Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, blowing one's own horn. Have you ever heard someone use this expression and wondered what it really means? Well, you're in the right place. Let's unravel the mystery together and find out how and when to use this idiom in everyday conversation. At first glance, blowing one's own horn might bring to mind images of musicians or ancient heralds. However, in modern English, this phrase has nothing to do with actual musical instruments. Blowing one's own horn is an idiom that means to brag or boast about one's own achievements or talents. It's about highlighting your own accomplishments, often in a way that might seem a little too proud or self-admiring to others. Understanding where idioms come from can often help us grasp their meanings more deeply. The phrase, blowing one's own horn, has roots in history when actual horns were blown to announce arrivals, victories, or to call attention to important proclamations. Over time, the metaphorical use of the phrase evolved to refer to self-promotion or the act of praising oneself, much like one would use a horn to draw attention in the past. Knowing when to use this phrase can be just as important as knowing what it means. Blowing one's own horn can be used in both positive and negative contexts. Positively, it might be necessary to highlight your accomplishments in a job interview or a professional bio. Negatively, it could be seen as lacking humility if used excessively or inappropriately in social situations. It's all about the context and the audience. Use this phrase to describe someone's behavior or to playfully acknowledge your own achievements, but always be mindful of how it might be received. Let's put our idiom into action with some examples. 1. While I don't usually like to blow my own horn, I must say I did an excellent job organizing the event. 2. He's always blowing his own horn about how many books he's read this year. These examples show how the phrase can be used to talk about oneself or others in various contexts. And there we have it, folks. Now you know all about the idiom, blowing one's own horn. Whether you're navigating English in a professional setting or just looking to enrich your vocabulary for daily conversation, understanding idioms like this one can be incredibly useful. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about culture, history, and the nuanced ways we express ourselves. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language learning tips and tricks. Until next time, keep exploring and never stop learning.